All right, we are picking up right where we were from last week. Here is cat number two. And again, shout out to artist Heather Nisham for allowing me to use her amazing digital cats as references for a whole slew of drawing projects I did over with my drawing club students. Um, oh my gosh. So again, the whole point of this series is to hone our drawing skills. And it's important to have a awesome reference to be working with. If it's a reference also that you love, you're way more apt to try and draw it because you're into what you're drawing. I know it sounds stupid to like point that out, but I think people who are reluctant to try drawing kind of are get stuck in the hard part of it. And I think just starting off with a bang and a really fun reference is the best way to overcome that resistance to learning or practicing or working on your craft. So that's why it's, it's kind of the most important thing is just, just, I sometimes spend actually more time looking for a good reference than I do drawing the reference. <laughs> um, cause it's that important. It inspires you and it educates you as you go. So so yeah, it's super important. So after I draw this in and I experiment with if I'm, um, I usually will draw in pencil. Sometimes I will use my fine liner and outline it first. And sometimes I mess around and see if I like it better when I outline it second. So sometimes um, it depends what I'm in the mood for. Sometimes it just depends on what's looking better, to be honest. And I highly suggest trying both ways yourself to see which one you like better aesthetically. And sometimes it also depends on your fine liner. If you don't have the ink be a certain way and you fine line first, you'll get a lot of bleeding and blending, which is undesirable. So um, I'll link to my favorite fine liners in the description box and meet me here again next week because I have more cat fun waiting for you. Baby, baby, baby.